If you're thinking of creating a website with WordPress, you're likely noticing two very similarly looking options, wordpress.com and wordpress.org. You may not realize it now, but these two things are actually very different, despite both being called WordPress. And knowing the difference between them will allow you to make the right decision when setting up your new website. In this video, we're going to take a look at each of these options so that you can make the right decision for you. The most often cited difference between these two variations of WordPress is where they're located on the web. A WordPress.com site is located on WordPress.com. It's on their servers and you'll be subject to their rules and restrictions as well as the advertising they place on your pages. A WordPress.org site, on the other hand, is self-hosted or hosted on your own server that you've paid for through a hosting provider. It's because of this that the rules change dramatically between the two. A self-hosted site has almost no restrictions in comparison to a .com site, and it's the only way to run a BuddyPress network or a multi-site installation. First, let's take a look at the cost of running on each. A WordPress.com site is essentially free in the beginning, and as long as you don't need anything out of the default offered, it'll stay that way forever. But for free, you'll also have WordPress tagged into your domain name. If you want your own domain name, you can pay WordPress $18 a year to register and have it on your site, or pay another domain register less money for that domain and then easily get it working on your .com site by still paying WordPress $13 a year. In the end, it ends up costing less to pay WordPress for both, which is sort of what they're counting on. They are running a business and providing a service after all. The cost of operating a website on WordPress.com will begin to add up though once you find a certain feature that they aren't willing to let you have without a yearly fee. For example, if you're running a business, you likely don't want advertisements for random stuff on your pages while potential customers are reviewing your services. This is especially true when you're not the one making money from the sale of that page's real estate. You can have advertising free web hosting if you're willing to pay WordPress $30 a year to do so. Keep in mind though that selling products via e-commerce isn't possible with WordPress.com and affiliate marketing is monitored and strictly forbidden. WordPress.com also limits the amount of space you're allowed to store your files in. By default, it's a mere three gigabytes. Now for a normal blogger, that's probably not a big deal at all. But for somebody who's planning on having a site for a long time or hosting a lot of high quality images, say a wedding photographer for example, this space will likely add up quickly, and you'll find yourself needing more before too long. The next level up is 10 gigabytes of space, which will cost you another $20 a year. The money and space climbs quite quickly from that point on. WordPress.org sites are self-hosted and not found on WordPress.com. WordPress.org simply hosts the software itself, and you'll be able to install that on your own setup. This means that you're making all of the arrangements for hosting and mapping and will manage all updates and installations. Most major hosting providers have people to install WordPress for you, so with those hosts, it's a snap. For those people who choose to go with hosts that don't do this, WordPress comes with a super easy installation already that practically takes care of itself after you input the needed information about your host. To really give you an idea of what all this money ends up paying for, let's examine some of the freedoms and limitations of each. The positive side of WordPress.com is that it could potentially be free forever as long as you don't desire any of the features that they limit to paying customers, such as audio and video uploads, or having your own unique domain name, or a custom site template. Also, at WordPress.com, all of the site maintenance is taken care of for you. You'll never have to think about performance issues or updating your software. WordPress.com sites are hosted by WordPress themselves, and because of that, they've got fantastic hardware that keeps your site online and super fast all the time. And they take care of security for you too, such as preventing site hacks or comment spam. WordPress.com is also a very connected multi-site network, so there are chances for other site owners on the network to visit each other and converse in the community as well. This has the potential to drive traffic to your website. On the other hand though, WordPress.com is very restrictive and has very limited flexibility. You won't be able to use any custom theme templates, do any e-commerce business, or use any plugin that isn't built into the site already. And there's not really all that much there. 
Also, WordPress.com sites will have advertisements placed on their pages for other visitors, unless you pay that $30 a year to have them removed. Also, you will never get FTP access to your files. Unless you're getting a ton of traffic and can afford to pay the thousands per month for their VIP hosting program, you'll never be able to gain full control of your website at WordPress.com. On the other side of the spectrum, WordPress.org is, in many ways, a completely different animal altogether. While it's still a WordPress-powered site, this experience offers a free and open-source experience that over 62 million sites around the world are driven by. If you're using a self-hosted option for your site, you have control over everything regarding your site. You can upload custom theme templates, third-party plugins, monetize your site with advertising space, conduct business transactions, and more. There is really no limit to what you'll be able to accomplish with the right knowledge and tools because you are no longer under WordPress.com's rules and regulations. You are your own boss online. However, such freedom and ability may come at a price, and it's up to you as to whether or not you can handle the responsibility of working with your own self-hosted website. For starters, you'll almost certainly have costs involved with a self-hosted site, because you're going to need to buy a domain name and have a hosting plan someplace that can reliably serve your site to visitors. If you expanded your site all the way, the yearly fees at WordPress.com usually end up being cheaper than paying monthly to host it elsewhere, but not always. Figure out your needs and shop around for a situation that gives you what you need at the right price. Also, because you won't have the WordPress.com team managing anything for you, you'll be responsible for all forms of maintenance and security on your site, so you'll have more time into monitoring activity. Because of this, running a self-hosted site will naturally be a more complex undertaking, although it doesn't necessarily have to be an overwhelmingly difficult thing, as long as you act reasonably within your abilities as a website administrator. Finally, should anything go wrong, such as a broken page or a problem with your design elements, you're effectively on your own, aside from online forums and other communities that help one another out. Ultimately, to make the right decision on which one to use, you'll need to assess what your needs are. Everything about this choice depends on what type of site you need and the features required to meet those goals. If you're looking to sell anything with any type of checkout system, you cannot use WordPress.com and must use a self-hosted WordPress.org site. If you need a custom look to your site, or believe the ability to expand and grow later is important, you'll also need to go with a self-hosted option. But, if cost is everything to you, and you only require a simple place that's managed for you on the web without minding the restrictions or ads, WordPress.com is the perfect fit. I hope that clears up a few things and helps you make the right decision for your website needs. For more information and tips on everything WordPress, visit us online at wpmu.org.